UML deployment diagram introduction. So what is the deployment diagram? We know that each and every UML diagram is having its special dedicated purpose. So we had our class diagram, then we had our object diagram and we had our component diagram. So now we are going to discuss our deployment diagram. So in our component diagram, we had that what are the different components and artifacts which will be required for the software development and how they will get organized and what will be the relationship between them. But here in case of deployment diagram, we are not bothering for the components. We are bothering that how these components will get deployed on different physical devices and what will be the topology of those physical devices and what will be the hardware architecture, the networking architecture on which my software will be running. So that purpose, for that purpose only, this deployment diagram has got its birth. So now let us go for some discussion on it. So deployment diagrams are used to visualize the topology of the physical components of a system where the software components are going to be deployed. Deployment diagrams are used to describe the static deployment view. It is not a dynamic. It is a static deployment view of a system and deployment diagrams consist of nodes, the respective relationships, the respective connections and the respective ordering. So in this way, in this particular deployment diagram, we shall discuss about the physical components which will be required for the smooth running of our application. So in the next videos, we will be discussing more on these deployment diagrams and those videos are in the continuation of this one. Please watch all of them. Thanks for watching this.